Multimodality is an important term in understanding perception and cognition. The term modality can be understood as a channel of sensory information. It's a broader term than the five senses and includes, for instance, vision, hearing, balance and proprioception. We use multiple modalities to get information about the world. Different modalities may provide the same information. For instance, either by hearing or by seeing a bouncing ball, you will get an indication of the size of the ball, how hard it bounces and the distance to the ball. In most cases, we receive information through multiple modalities at once and the modalities confirm each other, contributing to our perception of the environment. But contradictory information to different modalities may lead us to perceive information that is not present in what we perceive. A good example of this is the McGurk effect. Watch me while I say ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. What did you just hear? Most likely you perceived the sound da, while in fact you heard the sound ba on top of a video of me saying ga. Let's watch the video again without sound. And now only listen to the sound without watching the video. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Finally, let's play the combination again. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. The multimodal nature of our perceptual system may explain why we easily project features describing one modality onto another modality. For instance, projecting sound features onto a shape. Wolfgang Köhler demonstrated this as early as 1929 with the two figures Takete and Maluma. When asked to match the words to the figures, most people said that the curved figure on the left was Maluma and the jagged figure on the right Takete. Somehow our understanding of the word Takete with its short consonant sounds match well with the abrupt jaggedness of the right figure and the more prolonged vowel sounds of Maluma match with a bloated figure on the left. To sum up what we have learned in this video, sound perception is more than sensing vibrations in air pressure. When perceiving a sound, we associate the sound with some sound producing action. For instance, impulsive sounds such as these are associated with some impulsive action a fast transfer of energy from one object to another. We also make up our mind about the sounding object, its size, shape, material, location and so forth. And although the sounds produced by a single object may be very different, we are able to attribute them all to the same object, like these cymbal sounds. We have seen that sounds may give associations of properties of other domains, such as shapes. And we know that musical sound may cause strong emotional reactions. This demonstrates some of the highly complex mechanisms involved in perception. And in the following videos, we will have a closer look at the implications of this in music research.